Okay. Here's a here's another thing that's got me asking, Lord Jesus Christ, are you really real? Got me doubting. It says in the book of First John, they were they went out from us because they were never of us. But had they been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that it might be manifest that they were never truly of us. Talking about false teachers. Sounds to me like, unless I'm getting something wrong, once you're truly saved, you stay saved. But Polly caught, but then there are, there, there's also, also so others who say he's thinking, uh, Polly caught beside the disciple of John the Beloved, who was the disciple of Jesus Christ, said you can't, could forfeit your salvation. So, that being aside, the Bible says, ye are, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because great is his, he that is in you than he that is in the world. And God says, I'm a jealous God. Jesus said, God does not like to lose one. I assume God, that means God, a jealous God, the, it says in the book of James, this, 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 the scripture saying, Vain spirit that dwelleth in us, lust and the envy. For the flesh lust against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting off topic. But anyways, for, what to, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Whatsoever. That's, that's the same form of the word for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever will, let him come and drink of the water of life freely. Whosoever. Why then are uh, Christians, so many Christians, when they go to secular universities, if he uh, greater, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, why is it so many of them come out atheists? And they never come back to the free Christian faith. You, the law of chance and averages says it is impossible that every one of these who went to Christians who went to secular universities and lost their faith were not truly saved. Not were not truly saved. A lot of them probably were not saved, truly saved. But it is too much to ask me to believe without proving that every one of these people who lost their faith were never saved in the first place. And if there's so much as even one of them who was truly born again, didn't didn't just love his faith, but loved Jesus, had G, that Jesus inside of him, that true new birth. I can't explain it to you. you got to feel it and know it. If one, if one of them loses his faith and loses his salvation, because if you don't, finish, if you don't die in the faith, you don't, you don't go to heaven. Is you, you got to finish the race? It, it, says, it says in the book of Hebrews, it's not you can't just begin and fall away. You got to die in the faith, or you do, and you or you will go to hell. You will not win that prize, as it says in the book of Hebrews. And if God is jealous about a jealous God, not willing to lose one of His children. Jesus said, "Pray of all that thou givest me, I have I lost none." Said the son of a perdition that the scriptures might be fulfilled. They can spare the spiritualize that and say Jesus said, is saying, I will not lose one of my children. And yet, someone truly born again goes to college, secular university, loses the faith. How can this be? Jesus, the real is I'm asking if you are really real. Because if you were really real, then that scripture verse should be true. Greater is he that is in, in thee than he that is in the world. You should not, you should keep that child of God from falling away completely. He may fall in severe doubts, but he will not lose his faith totally. 
So why, why aren't you doing this, God, if you're real? Let me show you a sad testimony of a guy. I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna just show the video. Give you the video link. You can watch the video if you even give a damn about enough about me to help me. If you even believe that God can help me, if you even love have a lo in love in your soul, true love is so. Not just some lazy Christian who wants to get people saved as fast as you can, so you don't have to work hard to struggle with them, help them strive to enter into the kingdom of God. This guy fought tooth and nail from deconverting. He was led places by the Spirit of God, which led to his deconversion. Why would the Spirit of God do that? If what he, if what this guy is saying is true, my only hope was that this guy was tr not truly saved. It was not the Spirit leading him, but what he thought was the Spirit. I don't know. At least I'm not looking old, and fat. At least I'm not looking so damn ugly. Yeah, all of a sudden I went. All of a sudden I went to look ugly. Duh. Well, go watch this video. From theist, from theism to atheism. A sad story of a Christian who all, all this Christian wanted to do was serve God, Jesus Christ. This Christian had no idols in his heart. He wanted to serve Jesus, no one. And Jesus threw him to the wolf. Threw him to the wolves. He said he was led by the Spirit to continue talking to the atheist professor in the hopes of bringing him back to his faith. When, in fact, this, this is what led him to ultimately deconvert it from his faith. Lord, do you ever lead people in the situations to test them? That you know they're going to fail and fall away from you and apostatize and die and go to hell. Do you ever do that? Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That, According to that verse of scripture, every truly born again Christian, truly born again who goes to a secular university should never lose his, his faith. And if they can lose their faith, what am I missing here? Why? Why? Does God predestine some the taste of salvation but ultimately fall away? Jesus Jesus Christ, are you even real? You hear those beautiful testimonies about how they reached out to God and God came in and saved them. But you also hear testimonies about people who tried to reach God, but God never came through for them. They can never find them. If God is real, God should come to truly come to every one who truly seeks Him. And if He doesn't, if He only comes to some, not others, then how do I know it's not the law of law of averages and psychological conditioning? Jesus Christ, are you real?